But first up, hear ye, hear ye. I've been lucky enough to visit some of New South Wales' most amazing national parks, but what makes this place stand out is that the Queen has given it the thumbs up. And if it's good enough for Lizzie, it's good enough for me. It's Sydney's Royal National Park. The Royal Park was added after the Queen's 1954 visit. And it's no wonder Her Majesty loves the second oldest national park in the world. This nature's playground is less than one hour's drive from the city and sits right on the coast. The park has some of the most picturesque hiking trails in the country. You can go it alone, but I recommend you join a tour group. That way you won't miss anything. Today, Ian Wells from Sydney Coast Walks is leading the pack. And with whale watching season upon us, I'm really hoping Ian can take us to that special spot. We'll go past the white cliffs and um, hopefully see some whales on the way as well. I don't promise anything on the whales. And um, <laughs> we'll end up at Marley, so Marley Headland and Marley Beaches and, and Marley Lagoon. Did you hear that? Ian said whales are on the schedule. <laughs> well, maybe. A short walk later, we arrive at what's fondly known as the White Cliffs or Wedding Cake. They are sandstone, but the iron has been leached out by all the sea salt and dry air, which is why they're white and spectacular. Standing here, you feel like you could be anywhere in the world. It's hard to believe the biggest city in our country is only 20 k's away. All of this on our doorstep. And even with a view like this, I'm still looking for whales. And will we see any whales? Yeah, of course we will, <laughs> of course. I've given them a call, they're on the way. Oh, they're on the way. Well, awesome. so. <laughs> Ian's coastal walks are for everyone over the age of 10 years. But keep in mind there are some steep sections on the trail. Mostly though, it's fairly easy going. Now lunch is provided, but for a truly authentic experience, sign up for a discovery tour and score yourself some bush tucker and a history lesson at Jib and Headland's Rock Engravings. This is, this is the carbons here, kids and people. This is it here. Now look carefully on the ground, right. don't walk on them. Guide David Wright will teach you all about the indigenous carvings and how to survive on native bushes and plants. What foods have we got here? Oh, these are all different variety foods. Some are medicine plants, some are just for making soap, some are for health foods, but they are all different variety of foods. With all this and more to do in the park, you'll want to stay a few nights at Bonnyvale Campground. Nestled between the beach and the bush, there's plenty of action for the entire family. Back on the cliffs, we're trying a new technique for whale watching. We're speaking whale language. We're speaking language. whale, okay? Okay. Three, two, one. Whale! <laughs> you gotta believe. Yeah. You gotta put more heart yeah. into it. Yeah. Come on. Well, you, do oh. you want to do Brooke? It's out there. See it? Stop it. It is. Oh, wow. See there. Just blue there. Oh, there's two. There's two. Yes, that's a mum and a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a humpback. Oh, See out there. We saw them too. Humpbacks. <laughs> right on Brilliant. you. And my trip is complete. To book your tour of the Royal National Park and get some big viewer discounts, log on to nationalparks.nsw.gov.au forward slash Sydney Weekender.